Hey, 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 brothers. Hey, brothers. This is Ariel from GMS Tampa Bay 12 and GMS 13 Ruler Shabba. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to our Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Rocket that Yahweh, Rocket that Yahweh Shai, 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 Call Haloyim, like Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Single citation to the Akim out there that do push his word in truth and sincerity week in and week out, day in and day out, without wavering in sound doctrine. And of course, shalom to your sisters out there that listen to meekness, quietness, and humbleness, and death to everybody else, man. These other nations. All right, we in a time, we in a serious time right now, and I'm really, honestly, I'm really sick of this seeing this bitch ass puss pussified, pussified world we live in. If you ain't sick of this America shit, then there's something deadly wrong with you. You need to get yourself checked out. You need to pray to the. You need to pray to the Lord. You guys, if you, if you don't see, if you're not vexed at this place right now, you wake up every day, you gotta be here in this place, man. You're not vexed. There's something really wrong with you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, as a friend, there's something really wrong with you. You just okay with this. You okay with America? You okay with living around these heathen? You okay? This is is it? Oh, this oh, this is a mobile next to oh, it's okay. Hi, neighbor. That shit don't vex you, then you you really are lost in the sauce, and the Lord's gonna have to deal with you in a matter of violence. The Lord's gonna kill a lot of you people out there. We're talking. I'm talking. To my, I'm talking to our people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Lord is gonna deal with you in a manner that is so violent and, and scary and, and dreadful that I can't even put it into words. You have to watch movies. You have to watch some scary movies that Esau puts out there to really get an idea of what the Lord is gonna do to some of you people. Here it is, we've been telling you for mad years. Here it is, the elders and apostles have been out there in the highways and byways for decades telling you what's about to happen and you shun them off. You shun them off like it don't matter. Oh, it don't matter, that shit ain't gonna happen. Oh, you've been saying that for years. But slowly and surely, prophecies starting to come to pass and these nations are starting to fall right before our eyes and you still don't believe. You still don't wanna believe. That's why, that's why a, lot of you, a lot of you Jake out there are gonna have to just be slowly put to death. And the Lord's going to do it. And I, and I pray to the Lord that the Lord does it. And a lot of y'all death is going to be public. I want to see it. Because you didn't believe. You didn't believe. You, you talk shit about the elders. You talk shit about the brothers. About the doctrine. You, t you say that we, we, we teach rape. Brothers don't be teaching rape. What the fuck is your problem, man? Here it is. You brothers been pushing out, that doc pushing out the doctrine. The true doctrine for years. And they break down the scriptures for you. Oh, okay. It means this. This means that. Here's the precepts to, to go with that. Here's the lesson. Turn off the video, and he's still scoffing. That's why a lot of you gonna have to just gonna have to feel it. You're gonna have to feel it. Really, Esau's your daddy. You've been Americanized, and it really ain't your fault. It's these, it's these nations. It's these nations out there. It's, their na it's these nations that rule. Chiefly Esau. We all know that. That's why it's vexing to be out here because we have to see this shit. What the apocrypha, man? We have to see it, man. Y'all didn't want to believe though. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get that scripture right now. Because the, the spirit is hot right now. The spirit is hot. And I'm really feeling a lot of hate. This is really, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a lot of hate in my heart. I got a lot of hate. Hate in my heart. Okay. I'll say that. I have a lot of hate in my heart. I have a lot of negative energy in my heart. I do. I hate. I hate a lot of things. Basically, basically, I hate almost everything. Because first and foremost, brothers found the truth, and we know this is the truth, and we believe sincerely that this is the truth. The truth, rather, and we can prove it through the through the Holy Bible. And through the news, the prophecies that, that the Lord shows us. And we try to tell somebody about it. And they're like, oh, word. Oh, that's crazy, cuz. And go right back to some other shit. So you know what? We hate you for that. And the Lord hates you. And the Lord's going to deal with you. And it don't matter if you believe. You don't, you don't have to believe. This is the book of uh, Second Esdras, chapter 15, verse 1. Let's just start there. Behold, speak thou 
in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I put in thy mouth, save the Lord. And brothers be free, and brothers speak the words of prophecy. We look at brothers' videos, and you want, you know, the highways and byways videos and brothers' sit downs. Brothers are going into deep prophecy about what's going on in this earth right now. Because the Lord commanded us to do that. He says, speak, speak into the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So what do we do? We tell you what, what's, go, what's going on out here. Out of love, we tell you what's going on out here. We show you. And then we break out a precept or two to break down what's going on out here. All right? Risky looking dumb and stupid and idiotic out there in the highways and byways and putting out crazy videos. Racist ass videos. Yeah, we do that. We do that for the Lord and we do that for you. For your salvation. But you want to scoff at us? The Lord commanded us to speak into the into the ears of his people, which is your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the, the words of prophecy. And that's what we're doing. Whether you want to believe it or not. Verse 2. And cause them to be written on, in paper, for they are faithful and true. And that's what they are. These book, these these this has all been written in paper. As the Bible is written in paper, okay? So now that we have the record, we're able to read it. And now we, we, we read the prophecies of old. And here it is. We in the latter days. Because the scriptures tell us to look out for the latter days. Here we are in those days. And now the prophecies make sense. Now they're, now they're, they're blatantly obvious. It's like, oh shit, clearly that, that, that means the mark of the beast. Obviously. And we're trying to tell you about it so you can, so, so you, ultimately you can, you can gain salvation. Verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And so that's the truth right there. We don't give a fuck with you. If you want to believe this or not, we don't really care, bro. We're doing this for your salvation and we're doing this for our salvation. Because the Lord told us to do it. So damn it, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. The Lord said do it, so I'm going to do it. For my salvation. And why is he telling us to do it? For your salvation. But what does it say? Fear not the imaginations against thee. Alright, you want to talk shit about us? You want to say, oh, you wanna you wanna call you wanna call the police on us? Or you wanna you you wanna call your boys on us? Or while you're out in the highways and byways, you say you're gonna do this to us? You say you hope that happens to us? Well fuck you too, man. Fuck you and your family. You wish bad upon the prophets? The hell with you. The Lord said, Fear not the imaginations against thee. So we don't we don't care. We don't fear the imaginations that, that you have against us. Oh, you wish that we get arrested. You wish you was taken off the streets, put in jail. I hope I hope a gang comes by and shoots you. A drive by happens to you while you're on the highways and byways. You know what? Fuck you, man. And if that does happen, you know what? Call Allah Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. We in the spirit world, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna come back in in, in the spiritual bodies. I believe that. We're gonna come off the chariots. When, when the Lord comes back and invades this fucking place, man. The hell with this place, man. When the Lord comes back and, and invades America and invades the whole earth and it's going to be a planetary invasion, guess who's going to be on the chariots? The ones that died in the truth. And all you cats out there that have been talking shit the whole time and, and it was and it was preserved uh, all the way up until the end, guess what? You're going to get your head sliced off. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity... In, I can't say it like this. Incredulity, incred, incredulity. Sorry, it's like it. Of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. And that word incredulity basically it means unbelief. That uh, it don't matter. He has no credibility. We don't believe you. You need more people. Okay, it says don't let that trouble you. All right, don't let it trouble you because you know what? You know what's right. And Yahweh Shimmy Al Shai knows it's right. And that's all that matters. Hey, the elect is gonna get it. And that's really what this is all about. Waking up the elect. So we don't we don't care if you don't believe us. The incredulity against us. <laughs> you know what? We welcome it because it actually brings this prophecy to pass. It actually br it brings this scripture to pass. Okay, it says we it's gonna be those that are gonna that that that, that are gonna uh have disbelief against the word of Yahweh Shimmy Al Shai. It says it in the Bible, and here it is today. All right, good. We in the right times. Then we in them. We in them days. We in the last days. For all the faithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So good. 
The faithful's gonna die in their unfaithfulness. So what the hell we gotta worry about? We have faith. We faith based. We faith based Israelites over here. GMS Great Millstone are faith based Israelites. So guess what? We, it don't matter. You're faithless. So you're a faithless Israelite. You don't. Even, you don't. You. A lot of you Israelites out there don't even believe in the Heavenly Father anymore. At least you say you don't. Deep down inside you do. Because when you get pulled over by that goddamn cop, you're like, please God. A lot of y'all are hypocrites and phonies and fakes. That's what the Lord's going to deal with you in a manner, in a, in a certain type of manner. He got, he got, he got treat, he got treats for y'all. The Lord got some treats for y'all. Let's read on. Verse four, verse five. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So guess what? That's coming. The sword is violence, famine, starvation, death. <laughs> okay, the result of the sword and famine. And destruction Ultimately what's going to happen to America By the way of nuclear missiles Alright this is written about in the Bible So you have to understand that these times are coming And you have to prepare you and your household For, the, for these times And the only way you can really prepare yourself Is by calling on your house by Shem Yahushai Because the, the name is a, it's a strong tower Let's get that real quick That's right I'm going to keep that though Because I might go back into that Let's get that though Because that's really the only way You're going you're gonna to be able to save yourself Is by following the law, statutes, and commandments For the best of your ability through faith Alright, in the Bible And calling on the Heavenly Father Alright, through His Son You got to have faith Alright, that's really what it comes down to This is uh, Proverbs 18 and 10 The name of the Lord, Yahweh Is a strong tower The righteous all right, that's the key word. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the, the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, is a strong tower. You are to call the Heavenly Father all day, every day. In all situations, bad, good, give thanks, praise His holy name. Because the things that are about to happen on this earth right now, I cannot describe. I'm just one man. You can listen to another brother's video. And he'll do the best he can to, to describe the times that are about to come. You can listen to an Edomite's video of the times that are about to come. You can't prepare you for that, man. The only way you can really prepare yourself is through faith of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai calling on that name. And a lot of you niggas, you other camps out there, you won't even call on the name. You'll do everything in your power not to call on the name. That's fucked up. But it's all right at the same time because, you know what? That, that just gives us something to look forward to. I want to see, we want to see you, we want to see you get it, man. We want to see you get it. We calling you how about Shimmy Yahushai. We calling you how about Shimmy Yahushai. We believe in you how about Shimmy Yahushai. That's all that matters. You how about Hashem Yahushai. And what's the problem with saying that? Doesn't that have you? Don't you feel the power in that name? Y'all don't feel the power in that name. Yahweh, Yahweh. You don't feel it, Yahweh. That's a beautiful. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all really, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna feel it one day. Y'all don't, y'all don't respect that name. We respect it, and we call on it, and we praise His holy name, and we bless His holy name, because we know the times that are about to come right now. We ain't gonna be able to get through it on our own, through our own will. We need the Spirit of the Lord on us. We need the Holy Spirit. Okay? Haracha Kwadash. We need that. We need that. If we don't got that, we're fucked. Straight up and down. You're done. You're done, bud. You and your whole family fucked. Y'all need a little fear. That's what y'all need. Y'all do need some fear. Here it is the Dow's crashing. You see the Dow going down 600 points every fucking goddamn day. And y'all don't care. Y'all don't even look at it. You don't even know. You didn't even. You don't even fucking know. You didn't even fucking know. If you stumbled across this video, now you know. Look it up. Y'all don't. You don't care, man. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. This is for the elect. This is only for the elect. 
Let me go back into the, sec the second Ezra's, man. Second Ezra's 15. Verse 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, you're talking about you Edomites. You Edomites out there done fulfilled the whole earth with your evil. Your evil works. And here it is. You got our people, the Israelites. Look at look at our people. All just crazy. Destroyed. Destroyed. Our people are destroyed. It's not even funny. I was fucking around today. I had to do I had to do the little driving gig. You can figure out which one I was doing. I had to do the driving gig. All right, the app gig. And guess what? The first the first thing I picked up was a goddamn transsexual. How do you think I felt having a transsexual in the back seat of my car? And there's a Jake, a nigga, a nigga with a wig. This is this got to stop. This has to this has to be finished. This has to be finished because it seems like it's getting worse and worse. So we call on what you how about Shimmy Al Shai to end this madness. And we know it's coming because we see the signs of the Lord coming. Everything's waxing worse and worse. So we know something's about to pop off. Every day we see this, the, the, the stock market just plummeting. You see niggas out there acting crazy, a fool. These heathen nations are getting riled up. So we, you know, we kind of, you know, we can smirk a little bit because like, I hear something's popping off. But at the same time, we scared because we know that the Lord is about to judge this place. That's why we, you know, we ask the Lord to have mercy on us and our loved ones because we don't know what the fuck's going to happen, man. And y'all out there screwing around, fucking around, calling on Christ. Yo, I don't even want to know what's going to happen to y'all, bro. I don't, I don't want to know what's going to happen to y'all. So actually, I, kinda, I do want to see. But at the same time, like, I'm kind of nervous, bro. Kind of nervous. Hmm. Therefore, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer in the in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. That's us. That's the that's the men of the Lord. That's Great Millstone. Okay? And like-minded camps out there. They complain continually because they hate this fucking place. And they can't stand Edomites. We hate we abhor Edomites. We hate Edomites. We don't like them. We have hate in our heart. I don't want to hear that. We got hate in our heart when it comes to that. Because Esau's been completely, utterly wicked and unfair. So you know what? The hell with you, Esau. Let me read it again. Let me read a little bit more of that. He says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Because your wickedness needs to be it needs it needs to be talked, it needs to be brought to light. And it, it is right now. It's being brought to light. Alright? That's why you see that's why you see more Israelites waking up. That's why you see this Israeli vibration being spread across the world. Because the Lord is about to touch their wickedness and he's saving his elect. Which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Yeah, that's right. Because if he could, if he continues to let this happen, Yah by Shimei let this let Esau continue in his wickedness. Guess what's going to happen? The whole world's going to be destroyed. So he, he's not going to suffer it no more. He's going to end it through violence, and he's going to make you destroy yourselves first and foremost, and then you go, and then he's going to bring the Lord back to clean up the rest of y'all. It's going to be crazy out here. It's going to be an alien invasion. It's going to, the alien invasion is in the Bible. But it's not aliens, brothers. Okay? It's not no aliens. It's not UFOs, okay? These are the chariots of Israel. All right? And those are aliens from another planet. That's coming from a higher dimension. All right? And they're all around us right now. They ain't no other planet. They're hovering around us right now. You just can't see them because you can't see into a higher dimension with your 3D eyes, all right? You can't see 4D. In it. Come on, bro. Step up your game a little bit, man. You you can't see it like that unless they blink in and blink out, all right? That's technology beyond our our our, our uh, imagination. It ain't technology, all right? It's spirituality. Technology is, is Esau's shit. With the circuit boards and all that shit, 
that weak ass shit, that corny shit, you plug it into the wall. That shit is dumb, bro. That shit is weak. I know I'm going off doing this, that, but that's just how I feel right now. Forgive me. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right? And that's what, and, and that says the souls of the just complain continually. All right? So if you're not complaining, Okay, if you're not vexed out here from the filthy conversations of the wicked, then you're not just. You're not righteous. If you're not cussing every time you wake up in the morning, fuck. Okay, then there's something wrong with you. Of course, we bless our Heavenly Father, the water for waking us up. But God damn, we here again. But it's, it's beautiful that we're here. You know why? Because we have to understand this wickedness so we can understand righteousness. So we can be able to rule the world. We got to understand how it's feels to be ruled over in complete utter wickedness in order to rule our people and the rest of the world in righteousness that's the only way you have to understand both sides of the coin so this is a good thing all right yeah we got to wake up in this fucking place and slave for for a heathen all right you got to smell smoke everywhere you go um fuel uh we go exhaust all right you got to drive these fucking cars around that break down and shit you got to see christmas all right you got to see all this you got to see our people being gay being gay Okay, gay? Are you serious? You gay? So yeah, we have to understand this. We gotta, we gotta understand it, and we have, we have to welcome it because we don't have a choice right now. We have to come up out of this world, and we have to come into the understanding of the truth. Once you do that, then you're gonna understand that everything out here is wicked. All right, we'll end it there. We'll end it there. Lord willing, we'll make another video. Um, maybe tomorrow, you know, we'll do another video tomorrow. But with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect of Israel. Because, man, you know, this is only about the elect. Nobody else matters, all right? Everything, everybody else could go to hell. When I say go to hell, I just mean that, you know, fuck off. Die. Okay? Die. Because at the end of the day, only the elect is going to be saved. And even even the elect of, of of the other nations, because guess what? We're gonna need what? We're gonna need slaves. All this is gonna happen. And I have other I have other videos in mind that I want to make. So you know, low willing through the week, you know, maybe tomorrow and the next day if we still here, you know, I'll put out some more videos regarding uh, some these other nations. You know, um, Esau, the so-called white man, and uh, the wickedness that's going on out here. Prophecy. We gotta get into more prophecy. All right, we get into some deep, deep times right now, brother. So, you know, with that, you know, Lord willing, again, Lord willing, this is edifying out to the election of Israel. Um, you know, death to everybody else. Shalom.